Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2023 American Coach Patriot MD4. Here are the specifications. These are the specifications for the Mercedes chassis. Here are the standard and optional features. This particular RV does not have the propane generator or the 2000 watt inverter because it has the lithium package. The fresh water holding tank is 28 gallons, the gray is 18 gallons, and the black holding tank is 15 gallons. Here are the standard and optional exterior features. This RV does not have the 70 amp hour battery or propane because it has the 600 amp hour lithium freedom package. Here is an overview of the layout. So let's get started. There's a camera here on the passenger side. Step right here for the passenger. Long running board under the sliding door. Big awning on top. LED light up there. Opening window back here. Now there's tandem axle tires, two 110 outlets. Let's check out the rear. Up above, there's a backup camera. Moving below, there's some parking sensors, tow hitch with a seven pin connection, and take a look at the clearance. Okay, let's open up these rear doors. So take a look at the garage space inside. There's this pull down bug screen. Now each of these rear doors has a window with a pull down privacy shade attached. All right, let's move to the driver's side. Opening window up here. And down below, we have a 30 amp plug-in. In this discrete compartment, there's a lot going on. So there's the sewer connection, the outdoor shower, black valve, gray valve switches, the waste pump switch, Re reel retract, cable inlet, a switch for fresh and city water, the water input, and the black and gray flush. Opening up the driver's door, you can access your diesel input. Side step for the driver right there. Camera mounted on the side. So there's some LED lights. Camera in the front and some front parking sensors. All right, let's check out the inside of this RV. Power sliding door. nice sliding screen door grab handle on the side here and this is what it looks like inside All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. Now I do have to duck my head to enter. And oh, this driver's seat is very plush, very comfortable, like a pillow, adjustable armrest. Now there's power folding mirrors. The seats are power seats with heat and three position memory settings. Love the little wood trim that I'm seeing throughout. 
On top of the dash here, there's this screen, which you have multiple views of those cameras that are positioned on the exterior of the RV. The steering wheel has these controls right here at your fingertips. And to the right of the steering wheel, there's a control monitor. Very convenient. There are two cup holders on the dash. The center has this compartment with a wireless phone charger and three USB ports. In front of the passenger, there's a, another storage compartment. Right below that, there is a ledge for additional storage. In the center, there is this touchscreen infotainment center. And below, there are four additional cup holders. And in between, there's that power button for the sliding door. Directly below, there's a USB port and a 12 volt. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now, right above the cockpit area is this nice big TV and it's set in at an angle so you can have some good views. There's a speaker on each side. Behind the passenger seat, there's the fire extinguisher. Now the sliding door has a really large window in it, but it does not appear to open up. It does have this pull down privacy shade and there's the power button to open the sliding door. Now directly behind the cockpit seats, there are two additional captain's chairs. So let's check them out. Just as comfortable as the ones in the cockpit. They do have these armrests. Now these seats are manually adjustable so they can go forward and back and they also tilt manually also. Now they do have the three point over the shoulder seat belts. Now on the side of me here, there's this large window, does not appear to open up. It does have this pull down privacy shade. And there's a nice sized cup holder right there, two USB ports, two 110 outlets, and a little storage area. Directly above, there's a storage cabinet. And it's got a good amount of room in there. Now directly above me is the power air vent and they have this nice wood grain cover on it. Over on the passenger side is another control panel with a battery on off switch right below along with a switch to turn on and off the refrigerator. And above that is the battery monitor. Now let's check out the kitchen. So there's a good amount of counter space right here. The cooktop is not covered, however, the sink is. So let's start with the sink. It's a nice white porcelain sink and it's a good size. Pull out spray hose. Now the cooktop is a one burner induction cooktop. Right above that is the microwave. And it's a decent size, it is not convection. On the side of that is a storage cabinet with a good amount of room in there. Now below is the refrigerator, which they've put this nice wood grain look cover on. And let's take a look inside. So there's two levels of storage. There's a little bin below. Now the freezer has this floppy style door, but it's got a decent amount of space in there. The door has three levels of storage and they are not adjustable bins. Right on the side, the top here is a little storage area for sponges. Below that, it's a decent sized drawer. Another one below, same size as above. And the last one, same size as the previous two. On the other side of the refrigerator, there's some more storage. So there's this little drawer here. And below that is a place to put your trash. And they've included this little trash in. 
Now let's check out the bathroom. It's located right across from the kitchen. So there's two doors that you can use to enter the bathroom. There's the first one. So you can just enter with just opening that one door. Now the second door has a latch in here that you just pull down on and it opens up like this. So take a look inside. All right, I'm gonna step in and check out the room in there. So you know what, it's got a good amount of arm room. Again, I feel a little odd with the sink sticking into me from the side. The toilet is very long and it is porcelain. So there's this shower curtain that goes right across. Power air vent above, couple of lights a retractable clothesline. The shower head is this small wand. Sink below. Little round bowl size. And a covered toilet paper holder below. There's no medicine cabinet in there. All right, I'm gonna close the doors. So there's the latch I was talking about. So I'm gonna secure it in its place like that and close the other door. So there's also no mirrors in there. Now right on the side of that bathroom door, there's a switch to turn on and off the bathroom light. Above that is the max air controller to turn on and off the fan and open and close the vent. Now directly above me is this low profile AC unit and they've covered it again in that nice wood grain so it matches in with the rest of the decor and I have to say this is a pretty quiet AC. Over here on the side of the bathroom is a wardrobe and it's a pretty good size. I'm not seeing any shelves in there though but there is this hanging rod that is removable. Right in here is a little access area. On the door of the wardrobe, there's this nice long mirror. All right, let's check out the rear of the RV. So there's this side seat, which is pretty wide. There is no seat belt here though. Right on the side, there are two 110 outlets. There's an opening window back here that slides right across and it does have a nice screen in place, pull down privacy shade. Now directly below, there's another control panel, two USB ports and a cup holder. So I'm sitting on the rear sofa area and it's pretty comfortable. There's three lap belts for back here, couple of lights above along with a couple of speakers. Now moving over to the driver's side, again, another opening window with that screen in there also. Pull down privacy shade. Below here, there's a cup holder. And directly in front here on the driver's side, there's a TV that does swivel out. Now below, there are two 110 outlets, an HDMI and a USB. And on the side of that, there's a radio. Right above the TV, there's the controller for your in-cabin heating and your hot water. Now let's check out the cabinets. So right above, on the driver's side, there's this cabinet. And I have to say, it's all nice and padded in there. Works as good sound insulation. In the rear, there's another cabinet, and this one is pretty deep and pretty spacious. Back on the passenger side, there's this really long cabinet. And if you want to have the door stay open, you just push them up. It's got that nice hinged hardware. So underneath this bench seating, you can access the garage area. And that's what that space looks like. 
below right here on the driver's side is a mount for a lagoon table. Now that tabletop is stored behind the passenger seat on the driver's side and they have this nice pouch that is used to store it in. Now I'm going to show you how to transform this really comfortable rear seating area into a bed. So I am going to go to that control panel here on the side and I am going to lower the rear sofa into a flat position. Okay, it's all the way down. Now I'm going to reach underneath this side seat on the passenger side has a little bit of shallow storage in there and it's the same for the one on the driver's side also so grabbing this board which is covered with some kind of felt material and I'm just placing it down in the middle on a ledge that's on each side now I'm going to simply grab those backrests from the side seats and place them in the middle And check it out, there's the bed. That was pretty simple. So let's check it out. It's nice and plush and it does feel quite comfortable. Plenty of room back here. So I'm going to put it back into the sofa position. Simply pull up on the backrests, put them in their respective spots. Pull up on that board, place it back underneath the side seat, and raise that back into the sofa position. All done. So that wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 American Coach Patriot MD4 love all the quality that I'm seeing throughout. The bed was super easy to put together and easy to put back into the sofa position. The kitchen was a really good size. However, it would have been great to have a convection microwave. Now the bathroom is somewhat spacious. However, it would be a little awkward for showering considering the positioning of the toilet and the sink and there's no medicine cabinet in there. Love that there's two TVs in here one for the front passengers to view and one for when you're sitting in the rear or laying in bed. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.